Welcome to the fourth episode of my series, Europe Diaries, featuring the Amalfi Coast. This destination was the highlight of my Italy leg. It was so beautiful and so serene. My spa days consisted of swimming and lounging around in the sun. Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. I have just arrived in Amalfi. Um, so welcome back to my Europe diaries. We literally had the craziest travel day getting here. We had a two hour train delay, de delay, delay, and then we had to catch a ferry and then like two buses. We finally made it here and I'm absolutely sweating to death because it's 43 degrees Celsius. Like, I don't know who said Australia was hot because I feel like Europe is hotter. I'm so dying of sweat. Um, we're about to go to the beach because we're dying to hit a water source because we've been traveling in like Rome, Florence, all the concrete places, like two weeks, which, which was amazing. But I'm definitely excited to go swimming. And yeah, let's say go down to the coast. We've like a little bit of a walk, but should be fine. No. They work. Our first afternoon was spent at the beach making the most of the ocean. We got dinner at a local restaurant next to the beach. We didn't book so we had our own private table 100 meters away from the restaurant but it worked in our favor as we got the most amazing view of the ocean. It was super weird but the waiters were super flirty and asked us to stay back and have a midnight swim lol. We obviously declined as they were giving weird vibes and we were not going to walk down the 600 steps to get back to the beach. Okay here we are, we're walking up like 1700 steps to get back up to our house. It's literally crazy. What? There's Maddie, we're literally dying. This uh, is crazy. Oh, I'm so tired. But you know what? We're almost there. Good morning everyone, it is day two in Amalfi and as you saw we all went and got breakfast at the cutest little ceramic shop. I bought a necklace as well, not wearing it though, I don't actually, I actually think I've already lost it somewhere in this house. And we went and got some groceries because we're going to do dinner at home tonight and then we're just going to go to the same beach as yesterday and just have a chill day because we're all pretty tired from travelling and yeah that's my little update. I'm literally loving a mask so far. What the heck? Hello? This is, we're literally like all like scuffing it down. Where are you? Oh, there you are. We're scuffing it down because we're all so thirsty. That's <laughs> what yeah. I love. We spent all day soaking up the Italian rays and swimming at our local beach. We found a sacred pontoon and swam around there for hours. The day started off amazing and then it ended up going really crazy. I lost my GoPro and got an ear infection from the water pressure of trying to find it. And then we ended up getting chased up the Amalfi steps due to the guy that gave us the lemonade and he later gave us Prosecco, but I'll go into that tomorrow and explain it. We finished off our day with a homemade dinner and then going to the dessert bar oh, for the best tiramisu I've ever had. Okay, good morning everyone. I have to be super quiet because everyone's still asleep. But I have, I forgot to really vlog last night because I was super tired about the crazy story. So yesterday we went and got, we, I said we got free lemonade. Um, we like, spent our day by the beach, it was literally fine. I forgot the guy that actually gave it to us. But then just as we were about to leave, the guy that I recognized because obviously he gave us a lemonade, but I couldn't picture from like far away, came over and he gave us like a bottle of Prosecco. So we were like, and like, 
We've been offered to go on a lot of people's like boats and stuff like that. We've like always said no because like safety first. I'm like, you know what? We deserve this bottle of Prosecco. And obviously we had the lemonade as well. So the Prosecco and then he could try to talk to us, but there's like such a big like language barrier. So we kept doing Google Translate and went on for like ages and we're like, we need to go because it was like getting late as well. And we're like all hungry. It was, it was getting like a bit weird. So we decided we're gonna walk up and he was trying to ask like where our house was and we're like, mm. And then we weren't going to say where we lived. So we started walking up the stairs and then he went and chased us up the stairs. And we like, literally like, we had to go hide in an alleyway. Was I thought I'd add a better explanation. So basically the guy asked us to walk us home and we said, no, we're fine we're walking by ourselves. So we started walking and then he came and caught up to us and we're like, we said we'd walk by ourselves. And he goes, oh, but I wanna walk you home. We're like, no, we're good. And he goes, I'm gonna have a quick smoke. So anyway, we started running up the stairs and obviously he was smoking for, I don't know, like two seconds. Cause then he started running after us and we found a quick little alleyway that we went and hid him. And we saw him kept running running so we were hiding in this alleyway for half an hour hoping that he'd gone up and wondered where we had gone so anyway that was a little story where we hid in the alleyway and then we never went back to that beach again obviously <laughs> so funny but it was also so scary as well so anyway, we went back to the house and then that was like a very brief part of the story joey's here do you want to say hi to the vlog um and then so that's my little story from yesterday about the free stuff so i wouldn't accept free stuff or it was okay as long as you could hide in an alleyway in time um, but today we're going to not go to that beach game because you don't want to see him. Lol. And then we're going to go to actual Amalfi because right now we're staying in Conquer, so it's not like proper Amalfi. And we're going to go to a little beach there. I'd tell you what the name of it is, but I don't know. Because we also have no Wi-Fi here, so you have to go to a cafe to always look up what we're doing. Because nothing loads. I'm for a coffee. Yes, we're gonna go get coffee. I already made breakfast. I've been having porridge because I've been spending over my daily budget like every day. I literally bought a necklace yesterday. Did I have to buy that necklace? No, but did I want the necklace? Yes. <laughs> we're now going to go and get ready and then probably get coffee and then head to Amalfi. <laughs> Okay, so we just went to the little grocery market in Konka, which is tiny because Konka is such like a little village. And I got some cheese and I'm gonna bring some bread and we're going to go catch the bus to the beach now. We just went and got coffee and we've been going to the same place like locals now, low key. But yeah, perfect start to our morning. So excited. Okay, so we've been here for a few hours and me and the girls have been jumping off the rock as you saw and it's been so amazing. It's so hot, which I'm loving. And then I've just been eating my baguette and it's actually kind of making me feel a bit sick. But budget things. And there's also no food right now and I really need to poop so bad. But you know what, just to wait till we get home. Taste test of the stale bread. Yeah. Don't just eat it out of the middle, you gotta eat the crust as well. <laughs> The middle's yum. Do you want cheese? I feel like the cheese might be a bit off now. <laughs> Fiori Fjord was such a dreamy spot, the water was so blue and the people were so nice. We spent the day in the sun and got to cliff jump with fellow Aussies that we later became friends with. Such a perfect day. We just walked back up to our house and I am absolutely covered in sweat. Oh my god, there's an ant on my phone. Our house is also infested with ants, but like look at that. I think it's the humidity, but like, oh my god. Go, go, go Joey, woo! It's an ad, Coat. Sponsor us. Sponsor Tilly Garrett. Are you ready? Like a sensual level close-up. Can you go closer? Closer, 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 closer. Oh. Good morning everyone. I am still in Amalfi. Obviously I've been doing my videos um, place by place so if I'm still in this one video I'm in Amalfi. But um, today we're going to do the Path of God's Walk. I'm excited but I'm a bit nervous that I might pass out but it should be fine. And also last night we had a pretty late night. I didn't actually vlog it because um, 
we met a bunch of new people. We went and hung out with these Argentinian guys and we went and had dinner and drinks. So I'm a little bit hungover, which sucks. I feel like I haven't really been vlog vlogging that I've been going out and clubbing and stuff. But I have been going clubbing a little bit, but not as much as like what I feel like the usual person is. Just because our days have been so jam-packed and we don't want to forfeit our awakeness. But um, I remember telling you guys the story about that creepy guy that bought us drinks and like almost basically chased us home but and he was still following us but we hid in the alleyway lol um, and he went to the bar last night because where we're in in Conquer it's like really small like most of the customers for each place are the people that actually live in Conquer and we saw him in but luckily with the Argentinian guys so they like kind of like backed off but he just wouldn't stop staring at us and then the Argentinian guys walked us home thank god because I was like mm. anyway super fun we've made heaps of friends here I got all the shops that we are going to that we're all becoming friends with. and even yesterday at the jump rock we made heaps of friends as well because um i don't know there are so many aussies and when you go are you aussie and you can just become friends and go where are you from oh my god we live in the same suburb it's like so weird but it's a little fun collective experience i'm eating some porridge before the walk all the girls are asleep but i wanted to make this before i go because i cannot do anything with an empty stomach i definitely want to pass out so since i woke up half an hour early and i'm absolutely exhausted but that's alright, let's go do the path of God's walk. Just put on the bus in front of us. Okay, we are starting the path of God's hike. Look at the scenery already. I'm a bit nervous. We've got about nine kilometers left. I think we've already walked 1K. And yeah, we're literally sweating. We missed the bus this morning as well. So now we're like an hour later than what we expected, but should be fine. Am I right? Yeah. Woo! Yeah, you're Woo. right. Is everyone excited or nervous? I'm excited! Now that we started, I'm excited. I'm a bit of both. Yeah, I'm a bit of both. But look how weird my hat looks. Oh no, it's broken. And that's my little update. The fit of the day. If his back is, this bag is making me really hot. Okay, we are half an hour in. How do you feel? We well, all feel actually really good. I'm not quite somewhere. Well, it's in the shade, some of it, which is good to have no sunscreen on. But it's been so good so far. It's not too much uphill. Yeah, the view, stunning. That's Positano right there. So, hopefully we'll get there soon. <laughs> If you were staying on the Amalfi Coast, you have to do the Path of God's Walk. The views were absolutely breathtaking as you got to see the whole coastline from up high. We saw an Agarola and walked 10 kilometers to Positano. Oh my God, I'm so red. Sweaty babes. But we got some lemon salushis. We almost there, we got like 2,000 steps down. I'm a bit nervous. Like, look how red I am. Whoopsie. <laughs> Go Lauren, you just ran down the whole Positano steps. Woo! Okay, so we did that in record time. It's like 10.30 and we started at nine. I thought that was for 10 k. I thought that's awesome. We ran down the stairs, my legs like jelly, but I'm absolutely sweating, but now I can deserve a nice margarita. So yippee! Just got to our beach beds after the hike. That was literally crazy. We ran down the stairs as you saw, and I got like a lemon chilo slushy. That was like maybe the best thing I've had in Italy so far. I don't know, we just hit the spot perfectly. But we literally got second row beach chairs. I've already been swimming because I was absolutely dying with sweat. Um, we already looked at the menu. The cocktails are like 20 euros, but will I get one? Probably. And yeah, that's my little update. We're just literally gonna chill here all day. I'm gonna read my book. I've been reading this book about tennis, so it hasn't been the best book ever, but it's still pretty good. It's like my favorite author, so. We booked the beach chairs the night before visiting Positano and it was so worth it as we got the most That's amazing views of the famous Positano without the crowds. However, the food was so expensive, so we went and ate at a regular but, restaurant but in the village. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes a baby with severe brain damage. Oh yeah. That's how it is. So we finish up at the beach, it's like 6 p.m. We all had a good nap and we all feel disgusting because we're all putting back our hiking clothes on. And yeah, yeah, this is a fit. We've got like our shoes are so dusty from the hike, and I'm so sweaty. I'm so 
After swimming and sipping margaritas in the sun all day, we decided to finish off our day with some famous gelato. This lemon gelato was probably the best gelato I've ever eaten. Also, Classic Us missed our bus and had to wait another hour for the next one to come. We then went and ate at a local restaurant in Conca to finish our stay in Amalfi. Somehow this is dairy free. Okay vlog, we are leaving Amalfi today, but I thought I'd add this in because my back is kind of funny. I have got like 25 kilos on my back right now and my neck has never been more sore in its life. Oh my God. And we have to walk down 600 stairs. We thought, if you saw yesterday's clip, I thought that'd be the last time we'd ever walk down those stairs. Little did we know our bus stop to get to Puglia where we're going next is down these stairs. But very heavy. I can't even lift my arm up. It hurts so bad. Anyway, there's Lauren. Oh. It's like 6am in the morning. Yeah, 6am. So we're exhausted too. We made it down the hill. Woo! Everyone is exhausted. My leg is like shaking.